Oh, are you guys in for a treat? Uh, I know I missed Friday, so we're doubling up for today. Woo! All right. So, this bad boy is my toolbox for masonry. All right, this is the little guy that I take on me for jobs that I have. I know some of you have seen the bags. Um, I used to have a bag. However, I found it completely inconvenient for finding stuff when I needed it because it was just kind of like searching through a purse and that drove me nuts. Uh, some other people had toolboxes. Some guys have monster toolboxes. I, uh, I like this small one because it's easy to tote around and I only try to keep exactly what I need. I also got creative. Um, these are my bolt cutters. I want to go to cut wire and stuff like that and they didn't quite fit in there so... I notched out the end of my toolbox so that they could still uh, fit in there and that way I had everything in a nice little one shot go here. Alright. Now, I try to keep this thing as bare bones as humanly possible. Uh, the more crap you put in it, the heavier it is. And I don't like carrying around stuff that's heavy. So any tool that I can have that does two jobs, uh, usually I'll go with that one because again, it just saves a ton of space. So this is great. This is all the stuff that you guys are familiar with. You've seen the shop. Here are my bolt cutters for when I need to cut wire and stuff like that. I have my line in here. I have a number of line blocks, different sizes, um, depending on the job you need. I got some plastic ones right there. Uh, my barrel joiner. And regular old school joiner. I like to have two with me because it's not uncommon to be four scaffold sections up in the air and drop this guy. And so I have a backup just in case. Uh, that way when I go down for a break or the end of the day, I'll pick up this one and I'll be good to go. It really sucks to go down four scaffold sections for one tool. Uh, we have this slicker here, all right, along with a whole bunch of different other slickers. We got this bigger one. Um, there's a couple more in there. We'll go pull them out as we go. There's another one there. Now, of, any, of all the stuff that's in here, uh, the ones that I probably need the least are these. I'd probably eliminate these guys here. I have my brush. I have a tape measure right there. I have my block float. I have my brick hammer. This one, shout out to Dylan Lott, former student made this for me. I love this thing. I have this chisel. This is another one that if I truly need to eliminate weight, I'd probably get rid of this guy. Most work for the most part can be performed with this guy right here, so this isn't really that necessary. This one is more handy uh, if I'm truly going to need a chisel. This is referred to as a plugging chisel. This is to scrape out uh, mortar joints, knock mortar joints out. So that one's a little more handy. You need that one. I have a speed square. Uh, I use this thing all the time. I like it to make sure things are at a 90 degree angle. And it doesn't take up that much spot space in my toolbox, so I keep it in there nice and handy. I have a line bar, one, because the other guy on the other side should have one. I have uh, a wrench. This particular wrench is for changing blades on a demo saw. That's what it's size is set for, so I always like to keep that handy in there, just in case I need it. I have my brick trowel. I have my block trowel. Not all guys use a different one for uh, the materials. I like to. I have my chalk line. I need a snap line. And I have a whole bunch of Sharpies right down here in case I need to write. Last but not least, we'll set that over there for now. Uh, I have my pouch, which I keep all my little doohickeys that I need. Here's extra utility blades. Here's my utility knife. Here is a water key. Now if you ever go to like a school or a university, there's no twist knob to turn the water on. It usually requires a water key. This is the number one thing that are stolen on job sites because people always need one. Guess where I got this one? I stole it. All right. We got a number of uh, line twigs here, or trigs. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different kinds. We got those ones there. We got this little line pin right here. Uh, anything else of note? Just more line pins and twigs. So there you have it. All right. I have everything that I could possibly need in one box. Later.